Welcome to Tasting Wine. I'm Haley. I'm Joe. Today we're Tasting Wine. We are trying a classic. Charles Shaw. Two Buck Chuck. Two Buck Chuck. <laughs> Ain't two, nothing better. Two Buck Chuck. I like this. They have the little... A little peely. The peeler. The peeler paying, is very nice. You're paying for that. Maybe they can make it cheaper if they yep. don't have that. Uh, Maybe it'd be One Buck Chuck. One Buck Chuck. Honestly, I have no idea how they do this because... I mean, it used to be two dollars when they introduced it to Trader Joe's, like in like the two thousands, early two thousands, and now it's like four. It's under four bucks. Well, even four dollars. I mean, like that's still not yeah. expensive oh, no, at all. Oh no, no, not at all. Not at all. I don't get how you buy a glass and a cork and get it to the stores for that price. Honestly. Yeah, all the distribution, yeah. And all that stuff. Yeah, there's insane. I remember my. This is like when my dad would drink all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he would come home with cases of it. I mean, you get a case for like. You know, 25 bucks back in the day. Yeah, there you go. That's nothing. That's I remember in stores having like a different label. Like, I don't, or maybe I'm just remembering the sign. I don't know. Yeah, we also haven't been to a Trader Joe's in a really long time. Yeah. So it's cellared and bottled by Charles Shaw Winery. Um, and it's in Napa and Sonoma. They have uh, vineyards like, they own a bunch of land up there. Oh, nice. Um, so yeah. This has like some nice cherry, some nice kind of like, like those sweet tarts, mm -hmm. uh, not sweet tarts. What's it? What are they called? The, with the flip? Oh, Smarties. It almost Smarties. has like a synthetic taste or smell. Well, too. no, it's like the Smarty dust. You know when you the unwrap. Dust. I'm serious. When you unwrap the Smarties in like that dust, mm -hmm. it smells like that dust. Mm. Yeah, I get like the what you say cherries. Yeah. Yeah, I get a little bit of the cherries. It's pretty, pretty like middle of the road. You know, it's nothing's like jumping out at you, but nothing's unpleasant. You know. Mm -hmm. I mean, four dollars. I mean, you know, if this is a four dollar wine it smells like this this is amazing for a four dollar wine yeah i know it almost has like a little bit of like a marshmallow smell on it too hmm. yeah i mean this isn't this is a you know, an ancient you know 2016 i didn't even know they did vintages with this wine oh, I, didn't know I thought they just like it just came out when it came out you know yeah because i mean they i was looking up some stuff they sell like hundreds of millions of like, uh, bottles of this like since it's come out they've sold like yeah, the last one I saw was 800 million bottles. 800 million? 800 million bottles. Like, where do you get 800 million bottles, like, alone, just the bottles for them, you know? Wow, people really like their two-buck chuck. They really like their two-buck, and that's, I think it's only sold at Trader Joe's. I don't know. If I don't know. Really it seems like any. you know more about it than I do. I don't know. I mean. I just buy it. <laughs> I just buy it, yeah. Yeah, this is super tart on the taste. Mm. Like, real, real tart. Um... Real sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's tart. I wouldn't say real sweet. It's got a touch of sweetness. Um, it has like a little bit of vanilla, so maybe that's like that sweetness. Yeah, vanilla. I don't know if they, I don't know if they do like stainless steel tanks or if they put it even bother putting them in oak barrels or anything like that. But I couldn't imagine if you're, you know, trying to get out 800 million bottles, you know, over the course of 10, know, like, 10 seems years. Like, a lot of work. like that's just a lot of work. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's not bad. At all. That's the thing. No. It, that's like, that's the thing. It's not bad at all. Like, how much is it? Like, I just don't understand. I mean, you're getting like a Sonoma wine for like four dollars. And, and Sonoma and Napa. Sonoma and Napa. So yeah. I mean, already that's a steal. Yeah. One thing I saw is that they get grapes from like these two different regions, and then they have like different blocks that taste like different things, and have like one will be like super cherry. One will be super minerally, so that they kind of just blend everything. Interesting. You know, so it's not like they're really trying to create a new vintage every year. They're almost just trying to create just a streamlined product that's pretty uniform, like every time you try it. Huh. Which, very which, yeah, which is kind of interesting because it's more like it's more like a whiskey or a beer at that point. You know, right? Where you're just trying to you make you try and make something good, and then you just try and repeat that. Yeah, and it's like consistency. Yeah, consistency. Yeah. Oh, so. very interesting. I mean, I think that this is nice. I think that if you didn't tell me that this was two buck chuck, I'd probably think this was like at least like a ten, twelve dollar bottle of yeah. wine. You I was, know? Yeah, honestly, like, yeah, I wonder if it's because it has four years of age on it. I feel like most people just buy this by a case and it's gone in a week. You know, <laughs> like I don't know if these survive four years. Who and knows? I, honestly, I don't even know where we got this one from. I think someone gave it to us. I don't really know where it came from. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was like, how did we even end up with this? Yeah. I don't know, honestly, I really don't know where we got it, huh. but I mean, this is like, like I said, I mean, 2016, four year old Charles Shaw, it's yeah. like, maybe that's all you got to do is just buy it by the caseload and age it for, you know, a couple of years and you, I, cause I think it's, I don't think it's bad at all. I don't think so either. I you think know? it's, 
Uh, it's not complex, but it's drinkable. I mean, I think it's a pop and pour. I don't think you need to decant it or anything. No. Honestly, you could, um, well, you could trick people with this for sure. Oh, yeah. If you put this in a decanter and you tell someone it's not something super expensive, but it's, I don't know, a $20 wine, totally believable. You could pull it off. You could pull it off. You could pour this juice into a nicer bottle and just bring the nicer <laughs> bottle. Funnel it in. Just bring, Sorry, we opened it up earlier. <laughs> just bring the nicer bottle. You know, there's a lot of things you can do with this for yeah, four bucks. Yeah, there you go. Fool your friends. Fool your friends. Yeah, honestly, I wish it was two bucks still. That'd be so much fun. I mean, nice. at four bucks, you're still getting a pretty, pretty dang good steal. But I don't know. It's pretty. It's pretty one directional. I don't think it's really gonna develop or change. But that's kind of all I got. Yeah, that's all I got. I wonder what the alcohol is. Doesn't even say. I thought they had to say. Twelve. Oh, it's 12. twelve. That's what. That's part of. I think what it has to do is twelve point five percent. So it's like. I don't know, just a little bit lower. lower. Anywho, I'm not complaining. So thank you for joining here at Taste the Wine. Let us know if you've ever had Two Buck Chuck. You ever had Two Buck Chuck? You still buy it? Two Buck Chuck. Do you have any old vintages of Two Buck Chuck? Let us know. <laughs> we want to know. We want in. We want in. We want the oldest bottle of Two Buck Chuck you, you have. Or at least you can, I don't know, take a picture and send it to us, whatever. <laughs> Anywho, get out there and taste some new wine. Let us know what you're trying. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. You gotta subscribe, we come out with videos three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so you get all your wine needs delivered. Mm. Prepare for the weekend. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.